sponsor a shelter animal and said, if I can't adopt, at least I can help you by sponsoring an animal, right? You sure can. So um, we are doing stocking sponsorships for all the animals that are currently at the shelter. They will get a stocking full of toys and treats. The dogs are actually going to go on a little field trip and see the lights at the ballpark with some of our staff and volunteers. Um, and we will be taking pictures and sharing those. So we'll send you um, a picture of the animal that you sponsor and we'll let you know when they get adopted. It's $30 to sponsor a cat and $50 to sponsor a dog. Excellent. And what does that sponsorship money provide for those animals? Um, it provides care for them while they're with us. Everybody's got a stocking on their cage or kennel, and it will have Christmas presents, so toys and treats and all sorts of good stuff that will go home with them. And, you know, we, you sent us an email. I'm looking at this title saying Grimsby's Holiday Tales, and I'm curious. <laughs> you got to explain this to me. Um, yeah, so Grimsby Hollow Meadery has partnered with us, and for anybody that goes there and brings an item off of our wish list, which can be found on our website, they will give you a 20% off coupon for your next order, and you will also be entered to win a holiday mead tasting pack. And I don't know if anybody's ever been there, uh, but their mead is delicious, and they also have food that you can get to go. So check them out. Grimsby Meadery? Is that what it's called? A meadery? Yeah, Grimsby Hollow Meadery. Love it. All right. Well, mead, it, it is the season for those sweet drinks. And then you also have a foster. We, we've covered the adoption. Uh, we've covered the sponsorship. But maybe I'd like to maybe just take care of a little critter for a while until they get adopted. I can do that too, right? You sure can. So we are doing a special holiday foster program this year. Um, anybody who is interested and lots of people are going to be home this year and have kind of a quiet Christmas. So um, if that's the case for families and they would like to have a furry friend to spend Christmas with them from December 21st to January 4th. So just a couple of weeks, um, we are sending animals to foster for the holiday so they don't have to be at the shelter. That's a wonderful idea. So really quickly, that, that's a short amount of time, December 21st through January 4th, really just about a couple of weeks, if you can foster a pet over the holiday so they don't have to be in the shelter over Christmas. What a great idea. And by the way, there is a deadline for that, right? <clears throat> yes, yep. Uh, if they can let us know, probably by the 19th or so, just so we can arrange pickup times and have supplies ready. We send all food, all supplies, everything they need. So um, they just need a home and a family to love on them for a couple of weeks. All right, that's coming up. That's tomorrow. So if you're interested in that or know someone who is, share, share that information or contact the Humane Society quickly. And then finally, your holiday hours. You guys are going to be open over the holidays if somebody wants to come in? Um, we are going to be open. We will be closed um, December 24th, 25th, and 26th, okay. so that Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then again the 31st and January 1st. Um, we do have staff at the shelter taking care of our animals, but we won't be open for adoptions or surrenders. Perfect. Well, Holly, it's been another great year with you all through 2020, getting all of these animals adopted or fostered or sponsored. All great ways that you can support the Humane Society, and as always, you can check them out at West Michigan. 30 in West Michigan at 3077 Wilson Drive Northwest or call 616-453-8900. That's that. Uh, if you want to do that short term foster, call that number today. 616-453-8900 or follow them on social media. We'll be right back. <laughs> 